from the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Good morning, I'm Danielle Shang with your Morning Pulse for Friday, December 1st, 2023. Two crashes about a mile apart from one another brought traffic to a stop for hours yesterday. The Nebraska State Patrol was called to the area along Highway 77 just south of Beatrice. Four people were taken to the hospital, including one person who was taken by medical helicopter. Troopers are now investigating the cause of both crashes. Sticking with NSP, a trooper and a Capitol security officer rushed into a burning home yesterday to rescue a man and one of his dogs. Just before 4 a.m., the officer on a routine patrol spotted smoke near 17th and Sunny Hill Road. He called in backup and they both ran in. I was able to catch a glimpse of the head of the individual inside the home. And that's when I called out and let him know that we, there was definitely a person over here and we both proceeded to go into the kitchen and get him out. First responders quickly transported the critically injured man to the hospital. Both men expressed their gratitude for being there in time to give the man a fighting chance. In other news, as UNL's chancellor faces budget cuts, his office is expanding with private funds. Rodney Bennett is reinstating two positions that existed under previous administrations but were not present when he started. Additionally, Bennett is filling two other top campus office positions with former colleagues from the University of Southern Mississippi, where he worked for nearly 10 years. Happening today, the University of Nebraska Board of Regents is meeting. It will be the final time with outgoing President Ted Carter. On the agenda, a resolution honoring Carter, a vote to name Chris Kaborik, the system's CFO, as the interim president, and discussions on Memorial Stadium renovations. And tonight at 7, the Husker volleyball team will face off against Long Island University in the first round of the NCAA volleyball tournament at the Devaney Center. If the Huskers win, they'll take on the winner of Missouri and Delaware tomorrow night at 7. All matches this weekend are on ESPN+. And our 10-11 sports team will have complete coverage of Nebraska's opening round match. Now rounding out your headlines is a check of the 7-day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.